Well, we got Lucifer going back on the lift. Let's go ahead and start this video. What is going on, everyone? Derek here today, bringing you another video. Guys, thank you so much for tuning back in to another video here on Derek Brand Productions. Um, today, we have something pretty cool. Yes, this is a sponsored video by two different companies. First company is gonna be Dio Dynamics. Many of you guys in the Mustang community might have heard of them, many might have not. And our second company is gonna be Anger Room. Again, another company that is pretty popular in the Mustang community. So if you haven't heard about those two, you are gonna hear about them today. So our good friends over at Dio Dynamics just hooked it up with a little box. I have something very cool to install on the car today that definitely spices up the exterior. But before we jump into that, guys, really quick, I have to give credit where it's due to Anchor Room. So guys, as you can see, I have the car behind me right here. And um, I haven't really mentioned this company before. The product that Anchor Room sent me has already been applied to the car. Um, many of you guys have caught it, many of you guys haven't. And now is the first time I'm actually addressing it on camera. So, let's take a look. As you guys noticed in the past videos, I did indeed tint out my front end my side markers, my rear end, and the rear side markers. But yes, the headlight tint, guys, I wanna say this is at least 15%. Um, I went ahead and applied it with um, a spray bottle with soapy water, a squeegee, and a heat gun. Came out flawless and looks absolutely amazing, so I'm very excited with the headlight tint because it just gives that front end such more of an aggressive look. And as you can see from right here, it just, it complements the blue so well. But not only did we do the headlights, but I did do the fog. But moving on to the side markers, guys, getting rid of that ugly bright orange with a 15% tint. Now walking to the back of the car, same thing, you have these quarter lights right here and those are tinted out as well. Now as we move to the rear of the car, Guys, this looks amazing. We went from the stock red tail lights to 15% tint on everything. Starting with the third brake light, we have the left tail light here. This whole piece trim is all tint and the inside inserts are tint as well. And obviously we did the same exact thing to the right side here. And it looks so much better because it has that nice clean gloss black look across the whole thing. Especially with our aftermarket deck lid where we eliminated that big GT gas cap, you know, looking thing. So for those of you guys over at Anchor Room that helped make this happen, thank you so much. And guys, for those of you that are watching this video right now and have an S197, go buy the Anchor Room tint kit. The links are in the description below. I'm telling you, you won't be disappointed. It makes the car look so much more aggressive. And that's exactly what I needed because I personally just love tinted lights and blacked out stuff. So go buy that kit. Check the description as well. There might be a DBP Squad discount code for you guys. Make sure you use it. And yeah, over Overall, enjoy the kit, and again, Anchor Room, thank you so much. So guys, now that I went ahead and explained to you what we did with the Anchor Room tint kit, our friends over at Dio Dynamics hooked it up with a piece that is gonna complement the tint kit so well, and we can go ahead and unbox this. All right, so we're opening a box, which contains a box, Dio Dynamics lighting. Probably some of the best aftermarket lighting on the market for Mustangs and other vehicles, so keep this in mind, they do lighting for other vehicles, not just Mustangs, but obviously we're working with my Mustang here, and this piece I am so excited to get on the car. So guys, today I went ahead and got the Dio Dynamics LED blacked out side markers and you can see right there, these things look phenomenal. And not only do they look phenomenal, but they're gonna look so much better when they're illuminated compared to the stock one bulb um, side markers that look like shit. Not only are these blacked out, but they have an LED strip on the inside. And it's gonna look a lot better, as I said, than the stock ones, even though we have the Anchor Room tint kit on the stock ones. These are just gonna be brighter. They're just gonna look more you know, finished and... So yeah guys, that's what we're doing today and that's why we have the car on the lift for part one so we can get underneath the fender liner to get these bad boys popped in. So, first things first guys, let's get this thing lifted up. Send it! Perfect, that's all we're gonna need. So guys, what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and remove the wheels. As I mentioned, there's some bolts I have to tighten up and it's gonna make it a lot easier for you with the wheels removed because you'll be able to go with the weather liner here, take out these three bolts. There's like one, two, three, and then this is gonna pry back and you'll have access to these side markers a lot easier from the inside and unplugging and then pop those out. And the backs are gonna be a little bit easier as well because you can see you can kind of access them a lot better from up top and just pop those out, pop the new ones in. And I do wanna give them a little comparison stock versus, um, versus the diode. So let's go ahead and hit the lights and shut the door. It's, it's stock but it, with the anchor room laid over it. Um, so it do, it's gonna be darker than stock obviously. But, but they'll see the bulbs stuff. though. Yeah. The bulb is shit in these so if but. You want, if you wanna just Put the anchor room on your stock one. This is what it'll look like. 
All right, guys, so this is what the stock side markers are gonna look like. Again, we do have 15% tint, but all you gotta do is unlock your car, and you can see it's just one simple bulb in the middle of it, and it's really not that attractive. Same thing with the rear. Just one simple bulb right in the middle, and honestly, it looks like shit. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and strip those out. We're gonna hook up the new diode dynamics, and as soon as we're done doing that, you'll see the comparison between the two. Gonna take this one out, the front one. As you can see, we got our two little things holding on here. It's a 10 mil. And then uh, we're gonna get the diode line. All right, guys, so you can clearly see we have two different LED side markers here. This top one is gonna be the diode dynamics, and you can see this one's a lot darker than, than the one we put tin over. And as I said, guys, this one has a full LED strip inside, not just like a single bulb that goes in the back of there. So it looks a lot better. And yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and apply this one to the car. All right guys, little update for you. We have the front installed on both sides. And I know from just glancing at it, you probably won't be able to tell a difference, but there's definitely a difference. As soon as we're done installing the rears, and we're gonna show you real quick, we're gonna go ahead and give you guys a little test on them. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and pry this. Just be very gentle when you do it. And it'll pop it right out. And guys, don't worry, you might end up cracking these by doing this. It's not a big deal, because you do have replacements. And it's kind of known for them to do that. So, yeah, just take your time. Mine cracked in half. There it is. And there it is, guys. Again, you might end up breaking them. They're cheap anyway, so don't sweat that. Pretty self-explanatory, once you remove it, you just plug that harness into the new LED one, and it'll snap right back in, so. We're gonna go ahead and get that done, and after this clip, guys, you'll see the after results. So we're gonna go ahead and hit the lights, and then after we hit the lights, we'll go ahead and show you what they look like on the car. All right, so lights are off, and here you go. And you can see we have that nice LED strip instead of just a bulb, so. So again, thank you so much Dial Dynamics for sponsoring the car and sending us your product to throw on it. I personally think it looks a lot better, and I'm sure the subscribers out there definitely agree with me. I mean, look at this, guys. Compared to the other one, so much better. And all those links will be in the description below. Make sure you guys go hook it up, use my promo codes. And yeah, this car is definitely coming away. So I'm just gonna put the wheels back on, lower the car, and we'll be good to go. All right guys, welcome back to the vlog. Very sorry for picking this video up, probably about a week later. Um, doesn't really matter to you, but if I know it's all over the place right now. But we do have Blue Super here. We also have Ben, say hi, Buck Finn. Got it. But yeah guys, we got Blue Super here, along with the diode dynamic side markers for the front and the rear. And obviously we have the anchor room tinted kit. So you can see right here, so much brighter. I know it's on the smaller side, guys. We have the tint for the headlights and taillights. In my opinion, I think it really spices up the car. And then, you know, we have the Dio Dynamics side markers that they hooked me up with. So thank you guys again for that. Guys, both of these things will be in the description below. Use the links, purchase them. Really quick, guys, before I wrap up this video, um, I do want to take a quick second, and I just got to inform you on some stuff. So here we go. All right, guys. So... Really quick, I do want to say I have fully acknowledged the fact that I haven't been bringing awesome content lately. Um, trust me, I'm well aware of this. And you know, it definitely puts like a weight on my chest and it's not cool because I know how my vlogs can be. They can be super energetic, super entertaining, very fun to say the least. And you know, when it comes to modifications with the car, I love doing those types of videos as well. So to keep this short and sweet, starting next month guys, I'm trying to revamp myself. Um, I'm gonna bring out the Ronin, I'm gonna hook up the good camera. I've actually changed my work schedule all around to produce quality content like I used to, and I know many of you guys used to enjoy that. So with that being said guys, do me a huge favor. If you're not subscribed to the channel, subscribe. We're almost at that 100K, which is absolutely mind blowing considering three years ago I just hit 100 subscribers and 100,000, that's insane. So subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed yet. Make sure you hit the bell icon every time I post. I need you guys there. You guys are the ones making this happen. We made that car happen. Don't know if you can see it, but yeah, now you can. But yeah, I just wanna let you guys know I'm on the same page as you. I know many of you um, probably are like kind of mad at me and whatnot, but it's all good because Starting next month, I'm gonna come out swinging like usual. I mean, tell them, Ben. They can improve on anything they want in life. You just gotta stick your mind exactly. to it. You gotta keep a schedule, keep consistent, and keep, you know, keep your head up. Know you can do it. It's all about them get goals, around. baby. True. Let's get it. So guys, you just heard Ben. I want you to take a quick second, 
I want you to think, what exactly do you want to change in your life? Comment it down below. I want to read them. I'm very interested and intrigued to see what you guys have to say. Next month, guys, is going to be game changer. It could be game changer for you, and we can do this shit together. So I'm looking forward to seeing those comments. What do you want to improve with your life starting next month? We're going to get it. DVP squad and DVP, let's go. With that, guys, that's going to go ahead and conclude today's video. Remember, if you enjoyed, make sure you drop a like, drop a comment, any questions, concerns. I'm going to say, what's up? That's cool, too. And today's DVP vlog shout-out is going out to Danny the Picks. Great-looking new edge man. Make sure you guys go check him out on Instagram. And thank you so much for your continued support. And remember, if you guys want a chance to win a shout-out on the vlogs, make sure you follow me on Instagram at Derek Brand Productions and use hashtag DVP squad on all your posts. As you guys know, every time I film a video such as this one, I go to hashtag it. See, use the and boom, shout-out. And don't forget to comment down below what you want to change. With that, guys, we have a new video dropping Saturday night not friday night I'm trying to change it up a little bit saturday night 10 p.m be there or be square but until next time we'll see you later